All right, today we're gonna be removing this generator and installing an alternator. Uh, remember, the first thing you wanna do is disconnect the negative uh, battery cable or the positive. Um, let's get started. Over the years, you never know what kind of, you know, crap they're gonna put in here that's not OEM. So sometimes you gotta look to see, you know, how they screwed it up. So I'm gonna open up this kit. This is your bracket. In the bracket, there's all your hardware. Now if you'll notice, these two studs, the pipe dope on them. Those two studs, are gonna go right here. Now, the reason it's got pipe dope on it is because this one and this one go into the water jackets. So you wanna have this ready. Take the nut off this one. Put it on this one. Jam these two nuts together so that when you're ready, you can run that on really quick without having to drain the coolant, right? So when you pull that out, put your finger over the hole first and then get ready and do it real quick. Okay, being that this is an old red face, um, you also are gonna need to order the belt and the oversized pulley. Anytime you have an adjustable water pump pulley, it's gonna be wider. And your main pulley is gonna be wider. So you have to be able to match that with the wider pulley. What comes with the alternator is a 3 8 pulley. You need the 5 8 So you need that belt, that pulley. To get this nut off, 15 sixteenths and impact. Or you can take it to AutoZone and they'll do it for you for free. That's simple.
So that's it, really. There's really not much to it.